Hello everyone, it's Constance. I cannot believe, oh, the light just came on. Look at this, look at this. This is disgusting. This is supposed to be the ice bucket? This is the toilet. This is the shower. There's inches of dust right here. And look at this. We had to make our own bed. And the comforter has yellow stains on it. I wouldn't even put this on the bed. This is disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. You know, it's so funny that a certain event can change your life in certain ways. And I experienced that with my 30 year high school reunion just yesterday. It was a great event. It was splendid see so many people and it was also the first time that I've presented as transgender. I went in positive. I went in glorious and I was happy with my outfit. I felt I looked amazing and instantly off the bat one of my biggest bullies in high school, um, who sadly enough, sadly enough, I'm going to state this succinctly, doesn't have the mental capacity that he used to have. Or should have. They miss he, I've already said he, he misgendered me, called me by my dead name, and it was a very awkward, awkward experience as I was being introduced to spouses of people I graduated with. That was a little bit hard. It was difficult. 
But as the night went on, um, watching other familiar faces come through, seeing some faces that aren't on social media pop up, it, it was great. It was superb. It was wonderful. And to get to have some experiences with some of my classmates that I've never experienced before while we were together in high school, I, I, <laughs> it was interesting. There are stories, there are stories, and some that should not be told. Some people I witnessed have had a very rough time in life and they built themselves back up. I am a survivor case myself, so I appreciate that. And I love seeing the success stories of the high school sweethearts who married and are still married 30 years later. You know, it's great. It's great to see that kind of stuff. And it's kind, kind of neat to also have this journey of mine. It, it, it's... It happened at the right reason, at the right time. And I wasn't gonna... I wasn't gonna try to go and my dad me. I was going to be constant, and it was hard. It, it was really hard when I got dead named and misgendered by somebody so quick right off the bat. But at the end, a small little caveat happened. Somebody who I never really got to know in high school, they were more of a popular crowd than I was. They spoke with me and said that they had wished that they had spoke to me at the last reunion because there was a little bit of guilt. And I'm kind of edging on assuming guilt. But they wanted to apologize if they ever made my life harder in high school. And I encouraged them and said no. No. Everything that has happened to me has brought me to this day. And I told them that I had no bad taste in my mouth in regard to them. However, they still insist.
insisted that they felt that they were cruel to me. And that says so much. It says so much. I'm sweating. I'm miserable in the studio with only just the fan running and the temperatures in the upper 80s. And I'm gonna end this. And, um, all right, lemon light to you all.